What's up my beautiful chiquiris? Welcome to today's diary entry. It's Valeria Alicia. Today I have a Sephora haul to share with you. I will be honest with you, I got this about two months ago and in here I have a couple hauls. I was only short by, I think it was I want to say like a hundred dollars to become a VIB Rouge for the year of 2016 so I decided to make a purchase well that was my excuse to make a couple purchases so um, I bought a few things so that I could uh, maintain my status of VIB Rouge and this is the stuff that I collected oops so without further ado let's go ahead and get started First off, do you guys like my hair? <laughs> I put this together so last minute. I had to. This is the second time I'm recording this because the first time it was so out of focus. But anywho, here's all the good stuff. Like I said, I'm not gonna go in any particular order. I'm just gonna reach in and grab and show you what I got. So first things first, I have the Pure Cotton, 100% Pure Cotton by Cogendo. 100% cotton, a cotton that has not been chemically treated, bleached, or pigmented, utilizing the best cotton's softness for your skin. Okay, so yeah, they're pads. So it brings 60 pads and they're 2.4 by 3.2. And yeah, it brings 60 of them. So I'm excited to give them a go just to see what all the fuss is about because... It's Cogendo, so I've never, I don't know what it's like, what the difference is between the 100% pure cottons or the ones that I already have that I bought at the store, so yeah, I'm excited. Following the Cogendo trend, I got the Cogendo Aqua Foundation. I have been wanting this baby for such a long time, and I'll be honest with you, I did not purchase this from Sephora. These two things are the two things that I did not purchase from Sephora. I got him from, I can't remember the name of that website, but they had this on sale, and I think it was something weird, like 27% off. It was like a really weird percentage, percentage, but it brought it down to where I was like, you know what? I'm okay spending the money because everybody raves so much about it, but I was not going to spend $60 on a foundation. And first of all, um, this is not anywhere near me. Neiman Marcus doesn't carry it. Um, Sephora obviously doesn't carry it. Ulta, of course, definitely doesn't have it. Macy's, Dillard's, nobody has Cogendo, at least in my area. So I could not get matched to this foundation so I basically just watched Nicole Guerrero and I was like well hopefully we're the same shade because usually we are pretty similar as far as shades go I know for the um, lawyer true match we're the exact same shade so I'm hoping and praying that this is the right color for me it looks pretty convincing so far and this is in the color 143 it's a Japanese brand so I'm excited to see what all the fuss is about it looks very fancy that just holding this it's like ooh, it's so fancy and following the fancy trend here I <laughs> I don't know what possessed me to buy this next product I think it has to do with the fact that my skin had been so dry and I hear all these people talking about how dewy it leaves your skin after you spray this on your face and how it feels so nice and I was like all right all right all right fine sign me up why not and it is the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist yeah I know what you're thinking this costs an arm and a leg I get it it's expensive but um I don't know I had to try it the bottle looks so fancy and all but I don't know. I think my skin, I was I was willing to splurge for my skin. Every time I'm like that, I'm like, you know what? As long as it's for my skin, it makes my skin feel better. Why not? Because my skin has been cracking, you guys. It's been so bad. And I use moisturizer and all that, and it's still, like, my skin's not willing to work with me. So, first thing I see is you grab this right here, and it's very fancy. Oh, my gosh. So, when you pull it out, this is what it looks like. So, it's wrapped in this paper. And then you pull it out, and it's got the seal on it right here. So then you take this off, and there it is right here. It's so cute. So this is what the bottle looks like right here. 
So I'm excited to give it a go. Oh, it's white actually. Oh, I did not know that. The actual product looks like a milky color. That's really cool. So we'll see you guys. If you're interested in seeing a video on a review on this particular item or any particular item in particular, how many times can I say particular? Any item in particular that you'd like to see me review, just let me know. I would love to do that for you guys. Okay, next thing is the Tarte Tartelette in Bloom palette. Oh, you guys. I cannot explain to you how excited I am to use this. Now, I have the Tarte Let palette, the original one, and I am head over heels over it. I absolutely love it. So when this one came out, I was like, just shut up and take my money, Tarte. Like, gosh, always doing this to me. Come out with such beautiful palettes, fine. So this is what this one looks like. And in this one, you actually have one, two, three, three shimmers. So they're all not just, they're not all matte. I can't speak today, I'm sorry, you guys. So <laughs> you have three shimmers and then the rest are matte, right? Yep, the rest are matte. But the color range in this, I feel like it's perfection. Following the first one, I feel like they did a fantastic job, Tarte. So, and the mirror says Tartlet in Bloom, just like the other one that says Tartlet. So, I really like it. Can't wait to give it a go. And another Tarte product I have here um, is the Buffer Brush. This one that looks like a little bamboo stick, the, the handle looks like it. Oh, let me take it out. And this is what it looks like, but I love these chubby... Um, brushes to put on foundation because I feel like it does a fantastic job at packing that foundation and buffing it in I mean it is called a buffer um, brush but I love the handle on it it's short but at the same time it's um, chubby so I can really like get a good grip on it and I love that so I cannot wait to try it plus Jacqueline Hill was raving about it so I was like you know what anything this woman touches is like amazing so why not all right um, next here I have is the Kat Von D Liquid Lipstick in Lolita. I'll confess to you that I already have this, um, liquid lipstick, but I have the travel size. I got it when they had the, the duo, the, yeah, the duo. And it was the Lolita 1 and Lolita 2 duo, but they were travel sizes. And I fell in love with the Lolita original not Lolita too. So I was like, uh, I'm afraid I'm gonna run out. So I'm just gonna grab the full size. So I did because the Lolita uh, travel size that I have has been living in my purse this whole time and it is not coming out anytime soon. I'm just afraid I'm gonna use it all. It is so good. I absolutely love the way it looks. It's not even like a fall color. It's like an everyday kind of color for me. I absolutely love the way it looks. So I guess it's up to your preference. Next thing I have here is the Urban Decay Super Saturated High Gloss Lip Color. So these are kind of like lip crayons. And to be honest with you, I have a couple of these and I really do like them. But I'm afraid they're going to be discontinued. I saw them on sale. I think they were on sale for $10 on the Sephora website. And I was like, you know what? If I don't grab it now, I'm afraid it's going to sell out and I'm not going to be able to try this particular color and this is the color what color are you oh adrenaline this is the color that it is it's very glittery but I found it to be such a fun color that's what it looks like right there it's very glittery but in shimmery and I kind of like that for fun days that you want to put on something fun like that fun makeup I thought that it was very cool and I actually saw a friend of mine wearing this one time and she told me all about it and ever since then I've been wanting it because I think the color is very unique too it's like a like a pinky dark pink but it's like a hot pink but it's not too much it's like enough and at the same time it's got shimmer in it like the glitter so I was like you know what I need to grab it now before it possibly is going to be discontinued because I saw them at Nordstrom's Rack for the same price. So if they're not on the Sephora website or Ulta, Nordstrom's Rack has them. I saw them. Another thing from Urban Decay that I actually, I'll confess to you, I did not purchase this. This came in my box and I was like, um, did I order this? 
Because sometimes I put stuff in my cart and I forget about it and I end up purchasing it without wanting to purchase it. So it's like, did I purchase this? And I looked at my thing and I was like, oh, no, no, I de definitely did not purchase it. But hey, thank you so much, Sephora, for sending me the Urban Decay eyeshadow in evidence. So I'm sure it was their mistake and they did not mean to put that in my box, but hey, it was free. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. <laughs> so this is like a very neat blue color this color is so pretty doing eye looks with this color i feel like oh it is so pretty for my eyelid and a good like wing to go with it i feel like that look is to me in my for me in my book i feel like it's very iconic and i absolutely love it so i definitely was like oh well i'm not sending you back and i'm not saying anything and that's what it looks like right there. So it's very, very pretty. The Black Magic set of two makeup remover cloths. Now, this comes, each pack of these comes with two. So I got four all together. The reason I got these is because these are limited edition. And these are basically dupes for the makeup eraser cloth that they have. That's $20. Sorry to say, I'm not paying $20 for that. That's a bit too outrageous. So I think these were... I want to say they were $14 or maybe it was 12 you know what I'm not sure I'm not gonna say prices but they were on the Sephora website and I actually got it with my friend Samantha and she took one I took the other one and I've been using the heck out of it because it is so easy and simple to take off your makeup you basically run hot water get it wet and then literally it's like magic it takes your whole face off it is amazing and super simple and easy for a girl that has super long days at work and has no time to sit down and use like five products to take off your makeup this is genius so I got two of them because I don't want them to sell out and I want to make sure I have enough so that I can rotate them in my day-to-day um, -day basis so yeah. Okay, next I have here is four of the Haku Hodu um, brushes. These were in collaboration with Sephora and they went on sale on the Sephora website. They were buy one, get one free. And I was like, ah! now is the time to buy them because I thought they were very expensive, but I was so curious. I've heard great things about Haku Hodu and when i saw that they were at the at the sephora they they did a collaboration i was like oh they're probably gonna be not that expensive and they weren't to be honest for how much hakuhodu brushes are these are not that expensive nonetheless they're expensive <laughs> but as soon as they went buy one get one free i was like done just just shut up and take my money like here you go I, I, need i say more no so <laughs> Um, I got four and let me take them out. Okay, so I'm gonna go one by one and show you which one they are. First of all, this packaging, I've never received a, um, a, what do you call it? I've never received a brush that looks like this fancy in this box, like this, I, never. Because it's not just the box, you guys, it's the way it's packaged in there, like, are you kidding? I've never received a brush like this. Usually they just come in something like this and you just take it and that's it, right? No. Here it's like super fancy and it shows you the brush inside and I just thought that was really cool because I've never gotten brushes that were like that fancy when it comes to their packaging. So I was like, ooh, it's so fancy. So <laughs> this first one is the Atsubu brush and it says that this brush is best used on the side versus the tip to keep the shape of the brush okay so let's see what this brush looks like Ooh, oh my gosh they're so soft mmm I love this this feels so nice so first thought I feel like I can definitely use this to bronze all over my face so like right here, here, and come around. I feel like this is the perfect brush for bronzing the face. So I would definitely be using that. I would use it to set my under eye, but it's too big to get all up in there. So very neat. And this again is the Atsubu. <laughs> Atsubu brush. And these actually, I forgot to mention, Hakuhodu is a Japanese brand. 
right? Hold on. Let me confirm it. Yeah, in Japan. So it is a Japanese brush, and it's so neat because right here it tells you the name of the brush, and it's in Japan. Like, handwriting. Like, what? It just looks so stinking cool because to me, it just looks like little designs, but like, that's a language, so that was pretty cool. So there's one, and for the rest of them, you guys, I'm just gonna take them out of the box and show you because I don't want this video to be too long. So I'm just gonna go one by one and show you which ones they are. Next one I have here to show you is the, what are you called? This one's called Ogi. I, I feel like I'm butchering these names too. But this is what it looks like right here. So it's a very neat concept, I feel like. So it's like packed in here. Um, but I feel like this would be really good for contouring. Hmm. We'll see. What does it say? It says, This universal shape can also be used for contour and precision powder. So very cool. Um, definitely. I feel like I see myself definitely using this to contour with. So once again, this was the Ogi. It's O-U-G-I. I feel like I'm butchering all these names. Next one I have here is called the Kusabi brush. This one, I'm unsure what I want to use it for because the shape is kind of weird. So this is what it looks like right here. So I don't know if you can see on camera, it's cut at an angle right here. So it's not fully, I mean it is packed, but it, then it's cut at an angle going up. So uh, I don't know, I don't know what I want to use this brush for. Maybe to set my foundation with? I don't know. I don't know. I feel like that's the best use I can think of right at this moment. But um, yeah, I just, it's just a very different brush. So I'm unsure how I want to use it. So this is what it looks like. And this is the Kusabi brush. Last one I have here to show you is called the Kotsubu brush. And this is what it looks like. The reason why I got all of these brushes, honestly, is because this one was the one that I wanted. This is the one that kept on being sold out online and I was like, no, I am not giving up on you. I want you. So <laughs> the reason I want it is to pack on my, um, not to pack, to set my under eye. I feel like it's perfection or even to highlight I feel like this is super smooth and it's just perfect because it's pointy so I feel like it could definitely get right all up in that under eye and set that uh, concealer so I wanted to get it because right now I use the heck out of the um, Sigma F35 brush that's the one I've been using forever you guys and I feel like this one kind of just gives it a break maybe I can alternate between one and the other so I'm excited to try it and see what's gonna happen if I'll use it for highlight or to set my under eye and the light right here I'm sorry you guys I'm using daylight right now because I did not want to turn on my lights and that's why you can see the light on my forehead no big deal so if you've been seeing that for a while I'm sorry that's what it is <laughs> All right, my chickadees, so that is all for my Sephora haul. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope I did not ramble too much. And I'll catch you on my next diary entry. Un besote. Bye.